Vertical caving is a highly technical and inherently dangerous sport that shouldn't be attempted unless you're with an expert and you un absolutely understand and accept the risks involved, like being horribly maimed or killed. Accidents in caves usually have something to do with stupidity, inexperience, overestimating your readiness for the particular cave, or having too much confidence in your own abilities. Watch this video and learn from it. Safety depends on you having an accurate sense of your boundaries and abilities. The first thing you do when putting on your vertical gear is to put on your harness. This can be done by putting your legs through your leg loops and pulling the waist strap above your hips. An important note is that your D-ring faces upwards, looking like a rainbow, not a smiley face. Also, make sure to tighten the waist and leg loops using the buckles. Next, feed the material back through the buckle so that only three sides of the buckle are shown, making a C. To make sure it's tight enough, place two fingers between the belt strap and twist. If your fingers overlap, it's tight enough. After that, put on your curl like a necklace, making sure the logo faces outward when it's on. Then, clip the buckles onto the leg loops. Before attaching the curl to your D-ring, ensure that the flat part is against your stomach with the latch facing out. Now find a cow's tail that fits you. To measure the cow's tail, take the carabiner at the end of the long rope and hold it out from your body as shown, making sure that it forms a straight line parallel to the ground. If there is slack, it's too long. Now place the cow's tail onto the D-ring. Next, measure for your ascender. Put both of your feet in the foot loop. Pull it tight and ensure that the ascender comes up to your belly button. After that, clip the long end of the cow's tail into the hole next to the rope on the ascender. Now you can measure your safety. To do this, grab the safety by the handle and hold the other end at your D-ring, such that the rope forms the hypotenuse of a triangle, as shown. If there's too much slack, choose a shorter safety. Also make sure that the quick link on your safety is secure. After the safety is on, hook the other side of the harness into the D-ring and screw the D-ring closed until it can't be turned any further. The final piece of vertical gear is the rappel rack. To attach this, you will need two carabiners, which are oriented to be opposite, as shown. Once facing the correct ways, clip the carabiners onto the D-ring in between the curl and the cow's tail. Attach the loop of the rappel rack through both clips the side with the indented top bar facing up. Tighten the carabiners completely. Make sure to flip one carabiner to make sure they are both opposite and opposed. Now you can put on your helmet, lights, gloves, and knee pads. This concludes our review of caving gear.